Hey guys, Nikki here and I have this hair to show you from iShow Hair. I've been super excited to show you more hair from this company because I have this exact wig but longer and you guys love it so let's get straight into it. This is the packaging right here and thank you iShow Hair for sponsoring this Get Ready With Me, okay? It is going to be all hair, it's going to be juicy, it's not going to be messy but it's going to be the answers to all the questions that you want to know but let's take care of business first. So this is everything that came in the bag. Bag. this is everything that you would get with your wig I got these lashes you guys know I absolutely love when companies put additives in here with the wigs it just makes you want to purchase from them more here's a wig cap I love when they put these in here because what you don't want to do is buy a wig and then have to go get stuff to apply it and then they put this awesome bunnet in here with a drawstring of course if you don't want to see this portion you know what to do but we're going to get straight into business this is 180% density 26 inches okay I absolutely love this wig when I say this is my second one I was like please send me this wig again the first one is 30 inches um but yeah this one is 26 so it has a comb at the back with an adjustable strap and this is the lace right here now this lace color is a little different to me so we're gonna have to tint that but yeah the hair itself is bomb and there are also two combs on the side so I absolutely love the hair texture so I can work with the lace band it's kind of like a beigey nude color and I need brown invisible or something like that but we're gonna work through that so I'm gonna take my MAC base powder and I'm just gonna tint the inside so that it will blend in better when I apply the hair so what I'm gonna do is do a speed tutorial so you guys can see how this was applied installed and everything is going to be very fast and then we're going to hop into a question and answer and i'm going to just go step by step but this is just the beginning so you can get a feel of it i can get the sponsorship portion out the way and we can get on into the questions that you guys asked me on instagram so about eyeshadow hair i've worked with them before i think twice like i said i absolutely love their hair there are a lot of different type of wigs on the website straight curly you got colored wigs it's like all type of wigs on there they do take multiple quad place fit I couldn't even get it out split pay options meaning that you don't have to pay for your whole wig up front that's very good and I highly highly recommend the company so I will make sure I leave the link to eyeshadow hair the direct link to this wig and my discount code below the video make sure you check them out after you get through watching the video and yeah let's get straight into what you guys are here for Right, guys this is gonna be quite interesting so I'm just gonna get right to it so I have the hair right here ain't much prepping to do I love this hair guys I have this exact wig I want to say in 30 inches and I just had to have it again for one I let Shug wear it and she done put a hole in the lace and I just had to have it again so every single time I wear this hair you guys are just like where you get it, where you get it, where you get it, where you get it. And it was like my birthday anniversary week last year. So I'm going to hop straight into some questions off the top of my head that I know you guys asked me. The question was, sorry guys, I didn't feel like doing a, I got a burn right here. So the questions were on Instagram and I said, what happened to you and dot, dot, dot. And you guys could name a brand, company, person, anything like that. So a lot of people really misunderstood that and y'all was asking like all kind of stuff. I'm like, girl, y'all didn't understand the question. Let me tighten this up. So the wig is still quite big on my head. So I just tightened the straps at the back as tight as I could, guys. So what I'm going to do is just before I gel anything down, we're going to have to cut some of the ear tab off like always. These wigs are like always super big. But the first question is, I'm just going to go off the top of my dome. What happened to you in Be Hue Be Cosmetics? Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm an OG. <laughs> and I have collaborated with a lot of brands, companies, and etc. So if you're lost, you're just going to have to go back. Because 
if I even have some of this stuff still up. I have my own lipstick with a company called Be Who Cosmetics. Um, what happened was I did a favorites video and I named their lipsticks in a favorite video and they came in and was like, if you like it that much, let's collab and we did. So what happened was the collab went smooth, the testing, the color, the everything was the name. I got to do all of that and I had so much fun and I really am grateful for that opportunity. So what happened was when the first batch came out, I didn't know much about collabs then. So I was just so happy that like somebody wanted to work with me. So when the first batch came out, like my brother was buying like five, ten people was buying like so many and then you know, I always, I don't know if you guys know this about me, every time I collab with a company or something, I buy my own product to see how they're going to handle shipping and etc. Well, I go on there to buy the lipstick and shipping was like $15. And I was blown away with it. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, is this the only option? Like, I was blown away because when you're deal, deal, dealing with contracts and stuff, you don't think to ask the companies how much is shipping going to be. And so everybody was still buying it. It still sold out. But I told them, nah, I think y'all kind of like that. I, don't, I ain't like that because it don't take no $15 to ship no lipstick. They had like free shipping over something. So ultimately what I felt like they wanted to do was people to build their cart so that they could get free shipping. Because this is a very transparent video. Um, so anyway, it sold out. So it came back. And I told them the only way it can come back, honey, is if y'all lord is shipping. We taking the got to be glue. Um, if y'all know this shipping, so it came back shipping was five dollars. Boom, bam, pow. So what happened was when it came back, we still had a few left, and so they were supposed to go on sale for like Black Friday or something for like five dollars, and they never dropped. <laughs> they never dropped. So that's the part I love collaborating with companies, but that's the part that I don't really like is because you don't have full control because it's their company. And y'all are going to hear more about that because I'm just going to keep it moving and move on into Zahar. So you guys know I had a clothing collaboration with a company. This is the got to be glue. I do not use um, gels and buns, ghost buns and stuff like, I mean, glue. I use gel because ghost bun and all that kind of stuff burns holes in my forehead. So I'm just going to put a layer. Um, I had my own clothing. What happened was I was contacted. They flew me to um, LA. We had a big press day. From that press day I did a radio show and a whole bunch of other stuff and I ended up getting my own line with the company which really wasn't my own line i just like they would have like i don't have my i don't want to run the blow dryer because i'm telling y'all a story i um just got to they would have like a rack of clothes and i picked the clothes that i thought was my style so anyway that collaboration was going excellent i was supposed to get my own bra line my own shape wear line flew here flew this hat was going to la every freaking week for five seven days at a time was never at home you guys saw that and everything was going great well what ended up happening is she ran out of money so the other models started contacting me like you getting paid you getting paid it, it was just a big ass mess i did a whole video on that um so basically she had a lot of million dollar investors and she messed up all them people money what she did with it i don't know she messed up all them people money she couldn't pay us she couldn't finish any other collabs um it just turned the big mess i was stuck in contract i couldn't work with any other companies and it threw me into depression for like nine months it did so anyway whatever happened did i sue her um i got my patterns and stuff back from the bras um and i left it at that because one thing i learned sometimes when the lord remove you from situations take the sign and run everything you don't have to like keep talking about it you don't have to keep bringing it up you don't have to wish bad on the person let that be your sign from God and get the up out of there, okay? To this day, people email me. She's still in a lot of trouble. She's still messing over investors' money. People email me. Two, three, four people have emailed me, wanted me to do news specials, interviews. And I'm like, no, I, the Lord got me out of that situation. I'm not looking back. What will me doing an interview or something help? She, I'm still going to be out of thousands of dollars that she still owe me. Um... She's still going to be doing bad. It's not worth it. And 
what's messed up about it is i do have like a soft heart so the lady wasn't like a bad person to me she just was bad in business and it just didn't go well so that's with that i do not deal with her at all anymore anybody who contact me about her or that company i ignored or tell them i don't want to have anything to do with it and i got what i could get out the deal when it was good so we're gonna go straight into hey beauty so hey beauty contacted me I used to go on Hey Beauty all the time and buy lashes and stuff when I did makeup. And I, who, who I thought was the owner at the time, name was, oh, I'm not gonna name drop. Um, she was Korean. And so she was like, I want you to come up here and work with me. And I was like, cool, that's fun, that's fun. So when I said I wanted to do that, I thought I would be working with the beauty supply and the her. So the first day I went in there, one of the girls was stupid nasty she was like oh we're tired of youtubers we don't want to work with youtubers blah, blah blah i ignored it because it wasn't about her that day me and her end up being kind of not close but we you know she was just having a moment <laughs> and so anyway um what ended up happening was though i started working more for the wig portion of the store and that's not what i signed up to do i'm a makeup artist i like beauty supplies so i wanted to do stuff with the whole entire store not just the wig part and so he stopped working there and it was just i was like why am i here and then there the workers in there kind of got messy to me if y'all watching this speak now feel the whole your piece in the comments don't call my phone though <laughs> got kind of got messy and like they were saying stuff like somebody came to look at a makeup product and we asked told them that you reviewed it on your channel and to look at your swatches and they was like i don't support her because she gay and then they started saying stuff about hey um they were surprised they wanted to work with me because she was a christian and stuff and my sexuality kept coming up too much and when when people do stuff like that it's really what you said <laughs> it's really what you said and you're gonna say so and so said so and so said and my that lets me know that i was being highly discussed behind my back so it put a bad taste in my mouth and guess what i am an entrepreneur and i can do what the hell i want i'm not on anybody management so i stopped going up there and stopped working with them the end so let's move into i'm just gonna press this in it's still a little work another question somebody asked was what happened to me doing makeup well honestly y'all i had been tired of doing makeup i'm older there was a lot of stress y'all know i had like 17 18 clients a day i wasn't able to go to none of my daughter track meets i was starting to get sick all the time and so i was already tired but that was like my bread and butter then and then covid hit and so I looked at that as like my way to get out. Like I was going to go back after COVID hit. And then I was just like, I can make four, five, six, seven, ten times the amount on YouTube. And with my shaper line, this sitting up here slaving over people all day, not being able to go to none of my family functions, not being able to, you get what I'm saying? So when I retired, I could. It's this simple. I retired. Sometimes you got to know when to get out. Some things serve their purpose. And then, like, it wasn't exciting to me anymore. So, I used to love doing makeup. Like, hop up with the chickens. I got to go to work. And then it got to the point where I was, like, crying getting up every morning. Because I was so burnt out and so tired. Um, and, yeah. So, I retired and I do not miss it at all. <laughs> Alright. So, somebody said what happened to me in Jersey She. Now, that's kind of recent basically jelly she i did two collaborations with them um everything went fine the first time i did a collaboration with them this is just a kira wax stick the first time i did a collaboration with them um i had on a dress and one of you guys said the dress was a black designer dress and so i was like i had no idea i was like when i pick my future items i'll try to avoid that but that's kind of hard to avoid because i don't know everybody who designed everything but that should have just been assigned to me but honestly that happened with a lot of these fast uh fashion companies so it's kind of hard to avoid unless you just stop working with them all together and we gotta eat over here so yeah so what ended up happening was i did the two collabs then right after the second collab my daughter just ran in here like the house was on fire or something this is the even spray and I'm going to go around my perimeters with this. She like literally ran in here and was like, Mama, Mama, people keep sending me me uh, pictures of me on Jelly She website. And I'm like, what? Yeah, they stole my baby whole birthday outfit. Um, and I literally saw her 
in there getting the stuff from Amazon, the patches from Amazon, the patches from Walmart and here and there making a dress. And baby Jilla, she just stole the whole outfit like it came out their website. So I was like, remove it. They removed it. Boom. It wasn't even three, four days later. Here they come again. I stole another one of my baby outfits. The shirt actually came from Forever 21. And the pants was just some little plain joggers that she cut up herself. Baby, they stole that outfit too. So I was just like, you know what? Get my baby sh down or y'all finna have to pay me. And they end up just taking it down. Because of course they didn't want to pay. And so now they don't want to work with me at all anymore. Because I called them out on having my baby stuff on there. Which is whack as F. But that's what happened with me in Jerley She. So the next question is what happened with me and Makeup Forever. And I don't know where that came from. Because ain't nothing happened with me and Makeup Forever. I, um, I was on their PR for years. COVID hit. And they stopped PR. Don't nobody get PR. So nothing happened. And you know... Uh, also, I don't even do makeup like I used to anymore. So, a lot of the companies had start taking me out because I wasn't using it. And I totally agree, baby. Guess what? If you ain't doing makeup no more, what you... I mean, you still review it. But I had even stopped reviewing. Like, I'm strictly blogs now. So, yeah. Send it to the people who still do that. Don't waste your inventory on me. And I'm going to just like throw it in a giveaway or something. Now, some companies still do send me stuff like Laura Mercier. They even send me this diamond chain I got on right now. If you guys can see it. Not the piece. My jeweler made this the chain. Um, but nothing happened with me and makeup forever. It's just COVID hit and all companies did away. Well, not all. A lot of companies did away with um, PR. I really and truly should have plugged this week. But y'all know I'm a minimalist when it comes to this hair stuff. And I just put it on so I can look cute, alright? So right now I'm going to cut the lace while I tell you the next question. I should have brought this down a little bit more too. Miss Diamond 34. God, leave some of y'all OG. <laughs> y'all want the tea. Um, Miss Diamond 34 was a very beautiful person. Fun personality. Um... Yes, very fun here on YouTube. But what happened was, um, at the time her and I were friends, I sold jewelry. And I'm gonna make this long story very, very short. I sold jewelry. And so, um, that was my bread and butter. That was like really how I ate back then because YouTube really wasn't paying a lot. I'm gonna just cut the lace. And what I found started happening, what started happening was, um, she would get on YouTube and like be in the store and promote the store I was getting the jewelry from. So it's like, sis, if you know I'm selling stuff, <laughs> I mean, I get it. But if you know I'm selling stuff and you know we hang together, why would you basically tell everybody where I'm getting my inventory from? And I ain't like that. And I don't, you know... The stuff with stuff like that is I don't see how other people don't see that. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of like turned me off from her because I'm just like, girl, you know, this is how me and my kids eat. And so why are you telling anybody where I'm getting my stuff from? And I know she was just excited and, um, you know, happy to be finding cute jewelry and stuff so cheap. But at the same time, it was just like a, to me, you get what I'm saying? So... I don't know. She was so she was so sweet though. I don't have anything bad, you know. This is what happened. <laughs> so let's keep it pushing, and let's talk about um, Nitra B. What do y'all mean, Nitra B? Me and Nitra B never hung together, <laughs> so I, I, that's confusing in itself. So this is what we got so far, even without me plucking. Me and Nitra B never hung together, so I don't know where that came from. I love Nietzsche B. Love, love, love Nietzsche B. I, I mean, I love the woman she has grown to be. Two beautiful kids. I still watch her religiously, so I don't know where that came from, honestly, but that's your answer. I don't know if you guys wanted, like, dramatic, juicy, gossip tea, but child, baby, the platinum is over 40. I ain't finna be coming on here stirring up no mess like that. Everything I'm gonna talk about is gonna be tasteful and positive, like, some stuff just don't work, guys. That's what you got to realize in life. 
everything ain't meant to be and when god give you the sign about that bit that person that brand that job that lover that whatever keep it pushing so now that i'm talking about a lover somebody asked what happened to me and Suge's dad and i thought i went over that recently but that was Suge's video we did a question and answer if somebody asked how we met i want to say but um me and Suge dad met at the club um we was i'm just gonna say it like this we was never really like each other type but we just clicked um i got pregnant fairly at the beginning of our relationship and her daddy was a true player true player until my her daddy got stabbed by somebody while i was pregnant that wasn't me her daddy had when i left somebody was coming and so yeah i exited <laughs> um we got back together after i had shook and lived together and everything and stuff still wasn't right and like i'm one of them type of people i take the signs baby and i'm about this mug um still my homie could literally be my best friend just didn't work out relationship wise and that's fine everything ain't me um and that's all right y'all y'all see how that see with these wigs they do this part perfect but when you get to the side okay my mom all right so i'm just gonna wipe some of this spray off my forehead so we can see what we really working with i really should have plucked the sides because i'm gonna do a little flip over but we're gonna be all right we're gonna be all right so i was gonna like go in with some powder but I'll do that after I do my baby hairs. Or should I do it before? I'll do it after. So right now I'm just going to go in. I don't even know. I'm going to do a little flip over. Swoop then swoop. Loop and some sideburns. Maybe I'll do two baby hairs and a side. Okay, burn. so these are very broad. <laughs> somebody somebody said. Hold on. Because my flip go come right here. Somebody said. I ain't going to even say no. Why did I do this before I did my baby hair? See, that's why I like sure to do my hair, y'all. Because I honestly don't know what the hell I be doing. Um, Somebody, I don't know somebody. Miss Diva like said, what happened to you and Miss Diva like planning the trip? <laughs> sis, we gonna plan the trip, sis. It's just, it's been a busy year. My health is up and down. I don't want to be on no trip with nobody and I'm menopausing. I can't drink, um... I'll be ready to go because I'm irritable. You know, I just want to be able to go on a trip and enjoy it. So, and then I got a couple trips coming up. So, yeah, got some weddings and stuff coming up and all that is in the budget. So, yeah, that's with that. And then, but y'all know I love my sis and the trips will be coming. So, let's see what else because my camera is blinking. This one was broad. It said YouTubers you used to be cool with. Girl, you know how many YouTubers I've been cool with in this YouTube career? So, I would never ever know how to answer that question. Who are you talking about? <laughs> like, I think I've went through the ones. Yeah, I wanted to know about except the one I'm saving for last. Because that's the one I got the most questions about. Jeez, y'all ain't playing with that one. I was like, oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. So, yeah, I don't know. YouTubers I used to be cool with depend on a YouTuber. YouTuber, this is a job. And it's just like being at your job with your coworkers, man. Sometimes when things get competitive, stuff fall out. Sometimes when money get in the picture, stuff fall out. And you just got to take it for what it is, y'all. So. It's basically like, oh, I'm going to say about that because that was the general question. Alright, so we're just going to do the baby hair that's visible on camera. Um, and see what else I still got. Whatever happened to you in BH Cosmetics? Okay, so with BH Cosmetics, I was like on their PR like back in the day before they was even popping. I keep saying I'm an OG, y'all know that. And, um... I did a video, they used to send me PR. <laughs> I got a hold of their foundation. I don't think it was PR though. Like I used to like literally buy all this stuff myself. That's why I like when PR, PR started jumping and y'all would say like those little mean comments. I'm like, girl, y'all wasn't saying nothing when I was running out everywhere buying this shit out of my own account. But anyway, um, 
what happened was ooh, that's a little big but um I reviewed their foundation their newest foundation that had just came out and it literally oxidized and turned green and stuff on camera I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't sugarcoat it it like happened I mean I could have edited it out but why if I'm reviewing it you get what I'm saying like I don't understand companies want reviews just say you want a commercial or you want exposure because a review is telling the truth about your product and if it's good if it's not blah 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 and so a representative reached out to me and was like oh we would love to get you on a phone call and da -da 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 -da. so they got me on this phone call and they was like asking what can they change and what can they do this and what can they do this about the foundation and then i never heard from bh cosmetic again not my pr rep not my i never got another pr i never like i guess they really upset them that i told the truth which is fine because i'd rather say my subscribers money than to be on camera lying and cutting stuff out like this stuff didn't just turn green on my face of course after that the company expanded so big and came out with so many new lunches and i kept buying it because I like the company. You know, y'all had one mishap, but baby, as far as that PR, oh, she was off of it. And y'all, I'm laughing, but it's really sad. Like, you'll be surprised at what gone behind the camera with these brands. We tough it up. These people do whole shout outs and reviews and stuff for companies, and they don't even be paying them. Like, these brands be flipping out. But that's a whole nother video, honey. Alright, so at this point, what happened to you and the naturalistic beauty con, girl? That's what it's saying. <laughs> um, if you guys didn't know, I did another collaboration. Maybe I should just stop collaborating. And um, I had my own soap. I love the soap. One of the soaps from the company so much. Um, it was flying off the shelves. And I was like... Hey, we should collab. <sighs> Y'all want me to keep it out of the way funky or what? Okay, so what ended up happening was I did my vagina video and it went viral. And she was making a gazillion bucks off of this. And, which is good for her. But I didn't really feel appreciated. So I was like, okay, so how about we just drop my own bar? Because... I would think like if you're selling thousands of bars a week or whatever you go send me some flowers or some you know what I'm saying none of that never happened so I was like I'm gonna see how to get in on this on my own so I was just like let's drop my own bar bam drop my own bar I didn't get a big percentage I don't ever put people in my numbers but it was nothing it was barely even it was it was something but it was very much nothing <laughs> um i'm just keeping it real and so um yeah the collab was was never fair on my end i will say that so what ended up happening was we dropped the collab and it was just a lot of backlash about customer service shipping times etc 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 but I consider her like my little sister. So I'm like, I'm going to work with you because I love your product. Da -da 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 I'm just trying to tint this lace a little bit more with some bronzer. So anyway, um, we kept working together. We dropped another soap. Our collaboration was only supposed to be three months, guys. And it dang near went two years. And so when everybody keeps saying, what happened between y'all? The collaboration was up. Like, honestly, the collaboration had been up. But I called myself being a good friend and kept extending it. And it was only benefiting her. <laughs> so um, what ended up happening was, um, long story short, my, short, my son passed away. And... Um, she put like a status about somebody dying on Facebook. She said it had nothing to do with me and how people there for people. It was it was like really mean. I'll just say that. And it, it was just the last straw for me because I'm just like, you're not talking about me. But um, it's very insensitive to say that and you have a friend that just lost a son. So... Yeah, have y'all ever heard of saying our money ain't good money and then I was barely making like I'm telling you that collaboration 
almost benefited her 90%. I'm going to just say that. So, um, no lost blood on my end. Y'all going to buy the soap, but I am done with the collaboration. Okay? <laughs> so, support her if you want to. And then, it got even bigger than that. She went on Facebook, and uh, personal Facebook, and announced that somebody with a big following um, denounced their affiliation with the company. And... It ruined my business but my thing is you had a business before my collaboration so don't blame me as the reason why your business is not getting the same amount of sales like you should be able to keep up your sales with your business they had nothing to do with me and just like I this is what kills me with collaborations with brands when you're collaborating with them they want you to do reels it well i'm taking it too far they want you to do instagram posts youtube posts facebook posts tell everybody tell the world but when you're not working with them anymore you just you supposed to go silent no i'm gonna i'm gonna announce that i no longer work with you just like i announced that i was working with you so y'all know look it's her i wish this was a little longer but y'all know me. Hold on, let me get my wax stick. I'm just a giving, 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 loving, loving, loving. Oh, I do that for you, I do that for you. And then I just be feeling, I, like I used to do that with men too. I feel like I fell in love too fast or I did too much. And motherfuckers didn't even like me like that. And I feel like they were friendships too. So I just feel like um, I do a lot for people and it don't get reciprocated. Y'all see that all the time here still now in my vlog. So... I just need to learn how to put me first, which will roll me into Beauty by Pierre. That's weird somebody asked about her because we wasn't, she's not like a YouTuber or anything. And we was just friends hanging. Well, she tried YouTube for a minute. Um, I thought she was my dog. Like, I get attached to people fast. Um, real, real fast. And I just really thought she was my dog. Long story short, we was working a makeup show. I had my camera because I'm a YouTuber. And when I left to go and do something um some of the ladies who like work the makeup show were um saying that they thought i was recording one of the artists class which was a smack in the fucking face to me because i'm a makeup artist who uh, i wasn't having classes at the time but i'm a makeup artist and i would never be up in somebody class recording but i am a blogger so i was rec i was vlogging the makeup show that's why y'all hired me and they told her that and she came to me and she was like, hey, they're saying that you got your camera and you, you could be sneak recording in these classes. And I said, now, wait a minute now. If you're my friend, you should know that's not even my caliber. That, that's not even something I would do. You should have went to bat for me over that. You shouldn't be coming back telling me what they said. You should have. And, you know, it was just a big misunderstanding because maybe she felt like, girl, ain't your friend like that to be going to bed with you? But I feel like I would have done it for her. You get what I'm saying? So, beautiful person. We still Facebook, Instagram friends and all that, but that's why we stopped hanging. So, let me just, um, don't want to keep it rolling. Well, I might as well. Let me go and flip this on over. Woo, this hair is beautiful, guys. So, let's get into the last and final, and we can end this, okay? Princess Cooch 05. Once again, let me reiterate, I get attachments to people, and I think that they're that attached to me or they're that close to me, and I guess, I don't know, I just be fooling my god dang self because what happened was me and Cooch was really tight. Maybe that's why it's so many what happened to y'all. She came to Dallas. We shopped. We ate. We talked on the phone every single day. Um, so, make a long story short. A lot of slack came from me hanging with her. I would see the little comments and like the little gossip sites and stuff. Like, I'm trying to be young. Hanging with people young. And y'all, Coochie was not that much younger than me. Probably six years younger than me. She just looks damn good for her age. She's a beautiful woman. Beautiful shape. Everything. And so I was just like, these motherfuckers is whack. Like, they act like I was uh, 30 hanging with a 15-year-old. But anyway, so she came to Dallas. We hung a couple of times, yada, yada, yada. So it was time for us to go to L.A. Everybody was excited. Y'all was excited. I was excited. It was Jim Beauty. And so we get to L.A. And I'm at a hotel. She's at a hotel. Everybody is like, 
Cool. I, you at where is Cooch? Where is Cooch? Well, I thought y'all was gonna be together. I see y'all both in LA. I can't wait to see what y'all finna hook up and do. Yada yada yada. That's the whole freaking time. But the whole time I wasn't here from Cooch. And you know what? This, like I said, this is not a messy thing. Like that girl, that woman can call me right now and I answer because I don't know. But I don't know. So anyway, um, we in LA. I was actually sharing a room with Love Kisses ninety nine. And the whole time I'm texting Cooch, she's not answering. I, dead ass. I even got sick for a minute. I don't know if my blood pressure went up. I started feeling weak. And I was just like, hey, are you here? Do you have a car? And I'm seeing her on Snapchat, blah, 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 blah. So TMI probably, but I'm telling a story. So um, we get to the party. Jen Beauty does a party the night before. They give out these big old bags. Y'all remember those days? And so I go ahead and go because she wasn't answering. And so we had to stand in line like an hour before they let us in. It was so unorganized. I think it was like their first one. And we had on heels. My feet was hurting. So when I finally get in, I get in VIP. I mingle with the brands. And honestly, when you go to those after parties, I mean, not after the, the parties, it's the day before the event, the night before the event. You go in there, you drink, you... um mingle with the brands you get your goodie bags and go the main thing is getting your goodie bag because they be running out so who wants to go fly away to la pay for those high rooms and stuff and then it's time to get a beauty bag and they out so that was my mission go in there get my little pictures on the red carpet talk to ofra all of them get my bag and bounce so i'm in there in vip i'm in there after standing in line a whole hour and she calls and she's like, the line is extremely long outside. And I'm like, I know. I just stood in the mug an hour. And she was like, can you come out and stand in line with me? And I was like, absolutely not. I'm so sorry. First of all, I was going to go. <laughs> I had got my bag and was going to go. And I was like, I just can't. My feet was hurting. And I haven't even heard from you this trip or whatever. So anyway, that's exactly what happened. I felt a certain type of way about that. Uh, which I feel like I had the right to because I was just like, y'all was even excited and thought we were going to be down there kicking it with each other. And she finally, uh, when I was like, well, I feel a certain type of way. And she was like, well, I just thought when I came to L.A., I was we were going to hang with each other at the beauty con events, not like actually do stuff together. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> OK, I wasn't under that impression, but I wish I was under that impression before would have saved me from kind of like getting my feelings hurt but anyway that's exactly what happened i was just like oh okay well that wasn't my impression yeah i bought my water bottle but i don't even need it i was like that wasn't my impression but okay i get it and i was done with it but i get back she had deleted me unfollowed me and all that so i don't know i was like real shocked because i still follow her like i'm not petty like that like but I get, people be waiting to not like me, I guess. Like I said, I don't know. Because I was perfectly fine. I was just like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I thought I was your friend and we was going to kick it. Um, I didn't know. You just wanted to meet up with me at the makeup events. <laughs> and, yeah, we got back home. She unfollowed me. I guess she let people get in her ear. And I don't know. She unfollowed me. So, still a beautiful person. I still see her videos on my timeline from time to time. It is what it is. Um, like I said, I never unfollowed her or anything. But that's what happened. That's that's what happened from my point of view. Maybe she looked at it as totally different. But that came from her own mouth. She was like, um, I really just wanted to kick it with you at like gym beauty and the after party and all that. I didn't want to like hang with you. <laughs> Basically to sum it up. And I was like, oh, wow. So anyway, that's the tea, y'all. That's everybody. And that's the hair. Oh, I wish you could have done this because this is some beautiful hair. But am I cute? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me know if you want another video like this. Um, I don't know. Don't leave it in the comments. Well, if you want to know what happened with me and a brand, me and a person, me and a company or something like that, leave it in the comment. And if it's enough, I will come back and do a part two. Don't forget to check out I Show Hair. It's banging. <laughs> And I'll see y'all. Look, I barely had to do something to this hair. I love this curl pattern. Like, what is this? I show hair. 
Oh gosh, I absolutely love this. I want it kind of, I want it kind of big, y'all. We going big or go home. So yeah, I will leave the link below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I mention you in this video and you don't like something I said or whatever, hit me up. I'm a grown woman. We can hash it out. <laughs> Bye.